This is Thomas Hurst reporting for KLTV, here this week to speak to Glyn Snodden ahead of this weekend's Yorkshire Humperside Derby against Hull City at the KC Stadium. We're looking back on Bolton last weekend, Glyn, it was a positive to pick up one point. However, in, in recent games now, in several games, the defence has leaked several goals. Um, what do you think should be changed, if anything? Well, we've been speaking about it. We had a, a good week, the week before the Bolton game. We had a couple of good training sessions on the pitch. We, we had a classroom uh, that we went in on the Wednesday <coughs> uh, and got an archer out with everybody, you know, saying exactly the same, that we've got to stop leaking goals if you're going to be in the top six. And that's what, you know, the best teams do. Uh, and hopefully, let's say, we've done it in training, we've got to do it out there on, on the pitch now when, uh, when Saturday or Tuesday night comes. Simon Grayson is of course backed by uh, Dean Hoyle here and Steve Bruce claims he's backed by his owner as well. Is this going to be a level playing field with the way both, team, both teams are set up and the way they want to play football? I think every Saturday or every Tuesday night it's a level playing field, you know, no matter who you're playing. Uh, you could be top of the league, bottom of the league, middle of the table, uh, it's who turns up on the day. You know, there's not a great side in this league that's going to be running away, that, running away with it. You know, Cardiff's got a great home record, but apart from that, you know, there were records for. So, you know, every Saturday and every Tuesday, like we just said, it's, it's anybody's game. And if you're right, and 100% right mentally and physically, then you're in with a shout of winning the game. Okay. Um, well, Hull are another team who, of course, do favour possession football. Uh, will this favour you on this occasion, given that we have succumbed in recent weeks to other possession teams, such as Brighton? Well, you know, we're going to be the underdogs anyway for most of this season. You know, we're going to town come up uh, from League One and, you know, there's some good clubs in uh, in this championship. Some good players, great teams, uh, you know, and we've got to sit, sit in there and make sure that we stay in the game for as long as we can and then go and counter-attack because we have got some good players ourselves. You know, we're, we're gelling them all together now and, you know, we've played 20 games and hopefully now we've come to the throwaway we can start pushing up the league after this little dip. But, uh, yeah, there's, there's a lot of teams that's looking to play this type of football, you know, they've got three at the back and they want to play and get the passing uh, passing game going in. It's up to us to stop them. You've got to make sure you stop them first and then uh, put your own uh, onto, onto a full sitter. Um, should your approach to tactics change in some way, given that we are now needing a win? Uh, should we not define ourselves on our own pacey possession style of football and abandon long ball completely? Again, it depends who you're playing and, and what, what you're playing. You know, Simon's got his philosophy, you know, us coaching staff uh, that goes along with it. We, we talk every day, you know, we look at the opposition and look at the strengths and the weaknesses. And we're going to try and impose our strengths on them and also hopefully get to get at their weaknesses and stop their strengths. So, you know, there's a lot of work that goes in every, every week, you know, behind the scenes uh, to see how we can stop the opposition and how we can get that win. You know, and I think we've, I think we've done okay so far, you know, and like I say, Saturday's going to be a completely different game again. As we've just said, they love possession football. We've got to stop them from playing football. And we've got some players in the team now that, that can also keep the ball. And that's what we want. We want to make sure that instead of going you know, from back to front early doors, we've got to mix it up. We've got to know when we can play from the back, when we can pass into midfield, and also when we, when we do go on. You know, and especially if you've got James Vaughan, uh, Simon Church, J Jermaine Beckford, Lee Novak, if you've got two from any of those four that's up there, they're pacing, they want the ball up there as early as they can. Steve Bruce was, of course, the one-time town manager, and he's been around in general for a long time. Um, what do you think the challenges for managers such as Simon Grayson, who are a little bit younger, when they come up against teams with managers that have got more experience in the game? Simon's one of them that uh, believes in his own, own self and his own philosophy. You know, he, he'll, he'll learn every day. He talks to himself, talks to Ian Miller, talks to his other staff, you know, and he's, this fellow will be a great manager. You know, he, uh, he's got good knowledge for a, such a young age, you know, uh, what he's done so far, the the, uh, the championship that he's won, I think three of them he's won now already. So, you know, he's got a great future ahead of him and he's just got to carry on and believe in what he wants to do. Um, well, of course, you had James Vaughan making his full match return last weekend and doing it in the best of ways, scoring a goal. Um, but is Jermaine Beckford close to match fitness yet? Yes, Jermaine's uh, trained this week. Uh, he's had a good run now uh, with the physios and... Uh, came in with us for two or three days, so uh, hopefully Jermaine's not far off as well now. Uh, finally, Howard Webb is refereeing the game this weekend. Um, is his style of refereeing a, a style that you or Simon Grayson particularly favour? We don't look to. I know he's a big name, Howard. You know, we, we've got to forget about the referees, and you know that's their job to do on, on the day, you know, or on the, on the evening when when they're refereeing. You know, we've got to concentrate on on our body of players and how we're going to win the game. And uh, you know, you talk about the the referees, any decisions, major decisions, if there's any after the game. Glyn, thank you very much for your time. Cheers. Having spoken to Glyn, he assures us of Huddersfield's ability to respond to the tough test that they face this weekend at the KC Stadium against Hull City. He also assures us specifically of the players' ability to get the ball down 
play football and compete against the toughest teams in the league. This is Thomas Hurst reporting for Kirkley's local TV.